Now today, seven local jazz giants will headline an event set to take place at Eagle Waters Resort in Hartepias. In a bit to end what is referred to as the dry season for live Afro jazz, according to the organizers of the Bring Back Jazz Festival, compared to the 90s where jazz and Afro jazz seems to be less appreciated on the live performance circuit, and they're not about to sit back and let that be a permanent reality. Today's event is going to be the first of a series of events that will hopefully take live jazz music back to its former spotlight and give jazz musicians more and more live appearances. Now, joining us in studio are three of the jazz greats who will take on uh, take to the stage, rather, pianist Paul Hamner, uh, Tim Bumkeezer and Don Laka. Gentlemen, good morning. Welcome to Morning Live. Morning. Good morning. Good morning. All right, let's, let's talk about the jazz circuit at the moment. Why is it worth a focus on? Dadim Kiza, let's start with you. Or should I start with... <laughs> <laughs> Since you guys couldn't decide who's going to speak first. Well, um, uh, uh, w one wise man said, we listen to this music uh, 24 hours a day, but we only have the opportunity uh, to perform uh, this kind of music and share it with uh, artists maybe who are not necessarily jazz artists. And uh, mm. we only get to sample this music on Sundays mm. for two hours. And uh, and uh, jazz musicians go to uh, institutions to study, spend hours and hours, you know, honing their skills, you know, and uh, uh, the treatment that is really meted against us is really not fair. Mm -hmm. So we, you know, when uh, Mr. Laga came up with the idea of uh, starting something like this, we all felt wow, at last, you know, we have something that hopefully. Yeah you know, we'll all be proud of. Does it, don't let me bring you into this conversation. What inspired this idea? Why did you feel this has to be out there? Well, you know, uh, sometimes to sit and moan doesn't help. Mm. And, uh, you know, you rather, you know, take lead. So, you know, I remember uh, I was talking to Paul the first day, actually, you know, I said, I visited Paul. And, uh, you know, I said, Paul, you know what? We haven't played together for in a festival for such a long time, since the 90s, mm. you know, in a jazz festival. When I, Temba came to visit me, and I said the same thing. Yeah. I said, we mm -hmm. haven't played, mm -hmm. the three of us, I mean, we've never been on the same stage since 1996. Mm -hmm. uh, and you look at it, 1996 was when the true jazz festivals mm -hmm. were happening, you know. Myself, actually, the, the whole lineup that's there, Smongilo Kumalo, Huma Sekela, Budaza, uh, McCoy, that, you know, the seven of us there, the, we only performed together on one stage. 1996 and we thought you know this is an opportunity for us all to come and and, and bring jazz, proper jazz mm. festivals back to the people that love the music and who were you know some of them uh, uh, said you know they have they're no longer going to the jazz festival yeah. because it become a different thing from what they know so we said well let's let's relaunch the whole yeah. you know vibe mm. again well let me bring you into this conversation what is the biggest driver of live jazz in the circuit well, the, to, to me, the, the clubs, and there's actually only one that I can think of right now, mm -hmm. which is a proper formal uh, jazz venue, which is called The Orbit, which is in Braamfontein in Johannesburg. So while jazz has become like, you know, a four-letter word almost, anybody can buy into the word, you know. It's like a buzzword. It's, a, it's just like a common word. And... Um, that's what the festivals had become, which is what uh, Don and, and Temba have just been uh, talking about. But in the, in the, in at the Orbit, for instance, you can see people like half our age, um, the new generation of jazz practitioners are, are really, their time has come. But mm -hmm. in terms of a festival of this nature, you know, it's it's... This is quite unique, as you as as you've been hearing. Yeah. You know, when when Pradhan approached me, it's it's true. You know, <laughs> it's twenty years we're talking. Yeah, sure, that's, that's fascinating. Okay, mm. who else is on the lineup? It's uh, Huma Sekela, Smangilo Kumalo, right? Uh, uh, Tambom Kize, mm. uh, Paul Hanma, mm. uh, mm. uh, Budaza, mm -hmm. and Mekoy Mkhubat. So and myself. So yeah. you know, as I say, uh, 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 bringing the back the music. For us, it's the most important thing. Now we can actually go out there and share it with the people that mm -hmm. love it. But, but it, does it almost seem like jazz is right up there and 
you may not want to mix with other genres because let's admit <laughs> that music is evolving, you know. No, in, I don't think so. <laughs> I, no, I, I really don't think so. I mean, if you look at the people like Miles Davis, they were young when they were doing this music, you know. Mm -hmm. Moses Blelegwa, you know, he was a kid mm -hmm. when he started doing those great records. You know, my, my grandson, you yeah. know, he can sing almost ev anything that he has. I don't yeah. think, I think we kind of limit it. You mm -hmm. know, uh, for, for whatever reason, I do not know who's been behind this, but uh, I, I don't. I really don't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Ticket prices. We need to talk about ticket prices yes. and where. A ticket prices is two fifty, and yeah. we urge people not to come to the venue without a ticket. Please go to the nearest shop, right? Check us, pick and pay, and uh, compute ticket. Get your ticket there. There won't be tickets sold at the gate. At the gate. Yes, and okay. uh, it's at the Eagle Waters at the uh, uh, Heart of Beers. Them, uh, just formerly known as, as the Oberon Resort. Mm -hmm. uh, it's actually for me, it's the most reason why we chose the venue is because it's the most beautiful venue for, yeah. for jazz. I mean, you have the backdrop of the Mahalis Mountain and the dam, and so it cannot be anything better than that. You know, it can be better. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know, I can already see my uncle dancing wherever he is. He's speaking, you know, this is one jazz festival economist. Uh -huh. Gentlemen, thank you so much. So that thank you. Your uncle, not your kid, yeah. not your baby. No, he loves, he loves jazz more than I do. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so talented, experienced, and respected pianist, Paul Hanma, Don Laka, and Tim Bumkise are speaking to us about Bring Back Jazz Festival, which takes place today at Eagle Waters Resort, Harte Bies, to see the, uh, these musicians share the stage with Hugh Masigalas, Bungilo Kumala Budaza, and Makoe Mkhobata. Get to Compi Ticket and buy a ticket before it's still at gates. Open at 11 o'clock. Let's take another break. Stay with us. Thank you.